All right, when we name and draw aromatic hydrocarbons, um, typically you're going to have a parent that has the benzene name in it. Um, although be careful because when it comes to benzenes, um, your rings, you tend to use a lot of your common names as well. Those are widely accepted like toluene and phenol and aniline. Um, and the other thing you need to know is if you have functional groups um, or substituents in the 1-2 pattern, we call that um, ortho. And we use an O to designate it. This is different from anything we've done previously. If you have a 1-3 pattern, that is meta. We use an M designation. And if you have a 1-4 pattern, that is considered para with a P designation. And as we go through these um, examples, you're gonna see that come up a couple times so you can see it in action. All right, the tricky part about using IUPAC names and then also having common names widely accepted is that this particular molecule um, would have two names, um, either the IUPAC name or we could use the common root that we see. So I wanna look around and see on this molecule, do I have um, what would be considered a, a common, widely accepted name for this? And I do see that. And if I were to look right here, when you have two methyl groups coming off of a benzene ring, this is called xylene. So one way to name this is instead of saying um, that it's a benzene ring with two methyl groups and a chlorine coming off of it, you would say that this is a xylene. And it's important that we mention what position those two methyl groups are coming off of in xylene, because it could be in the ortho, meta, or para pattern. So I'm gonna number my carbons in a way that gives, since they're you know perfectly apart from each other, that gives that chlorine the lowest number of carbon possible. And so if I start with carbon number one right here, that gives the chlorine a two carbon. Um, if I were to name it the other way, my chlorine would have um, a fifth carbon and that's not the lowest possible number. So you have uh, your methyl groups in a one four position. This is considered para. So I would put a P right before the xylene and that's just telling me exactly where those methyl groups are. Um, and then the next thing to do is to take care of that chlorine functional group. So that is a chloro, and it is in the second carbon position. So one possible name for this would be 2-chloro-p-xylene. If we were not using xylene as our root, as our common name, um, we would still call this 2-chloro. Um, we would still mention that we have two methyl groups in the 1,4 pattern or the para pattern, but this time um, we would use benzene as our root, and we would actually mention each of these methyl groups by themselves. So you would have P dimethyl benzene. Um, now these guys mean the same thing. Um, it's just uh, the bottom one is your IUPAC designation, um, and the top one uses your common naming for that. So this would be 2-chloro-p-dimethylbenzene. I don't need to say 1,4-dimethyl, and the reason for that is this P tells me that it's in the 1,4 designation. Um, and the dye tells us that we have two methyl groups coming off of that benzene ring. All right, here we have xylene again. And remember, xylene is a benzene ring that has two methyl groups coming off of it, so two CH3s. Meta tells us it's in the 1,3 pattern. So I'm just gonna arbitrarily pick a carbon and this will now become my one carbon, two, and three. So I'm gonna put my other methyl group coming off of the third carbon, because that's what meta means. It means it's in the 1,3 position. Um, this also tells me, I'm going to erase my three so it's not confusing, that we have, so that takes care of that entire part of the name, we have a bromine coming off of the second carbon. So I'm going to find my second carbon and put a bromine there. And that is 2-bromo-metaxylene. 
Okay, so here I see the root xylene, which tells me that I have a benzene ring with two methyl groups coming off of it. So I'm going to put my first methyl group coming off, and I need to know, obviously, my first methyl group always takes carbon 1. P or para is for the 1,4 pattern. So I'm going to count 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to put another methyl group coming off. Don't forget that ring. Um, in there, or it's not a benzene ring, it's just a cyclohexane, and then you'd name it completely differently. Um, just keep in the back of your mind that we are dealing with a common name here, so another name for this um, would be uh, P dimethyl benzene. And what that does is it takes the common name and it names it using the IUPAC name, which is benzene for the ring, your two methyl groups in a 1,4 distribution.